my name is Dr. Jeff Smith. I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, at the end of this video, there'll be some information that you'll want to write down uh, in terms of some websites that you can visit to check on the information that we've put out for you, uh, as well as some pretty fantastic uh, information out there on brain-based therapy and life-changing care, which are some of the things that we do in this clinic uh, with the help of Dr. Johnson. Uh, so please check out those websites and enjoy them. Uh, this video is going to show you some of the information that uh, uh, we, uh, we provide here to our patients, how we take care of our patients, how we treat them to recovery, and uh, looking at x-rays and, and uh, managing their entire body and their entire patient uh, uh, problem. Uh, we utilize something called brain-based therapy. Brain-based therapy is a treatment that involves uh, the brain and the brain stem, the lower brain stem, the central nervous system, and parts of the body that typically are just never looked at in the medical world. Uh, and and uh, when they're overlooked and not utilized, uh, the patients don't seem to get better. So we're one of the very first doctors in the entire state of Arkansas to do this type of treatment. Uh, we're a collective group of doctors around the entire country that practice brain-based therapy, and we incorporate that into our traditional chiropractic, acupuncture, and physical therapy techniques. So please take a minute to watch this video and uh, enjoy it, learn as much as you can, and we hope to see you soon. Have a great day. I'm Dr. Michael L. Johnson, and I'm a board-certified chiropractic neurologist. I'm also the author of this book, What Do You Do When the Medications Don't Work? A Non-Drug Treatment of Dizziness, Migraine Headaches, Fibromyalgia, and Other Chronic Conditions. I'm here to talk to you today about chronic back pain, chronic neck pain, sciatica or leg pain, failed back surgery, and spinal stenosis. We use new technologies in our office to help all of these conditions. And we treat people neurologically. As I mentioned, I'm a board-certified chiropractic neurologist, and out of 60,000 chiropractors, there are only 1,000 chiropractors like myself that are chiropractic neurologists. So we want to treat you neurologically. Maybe you've had epidurals. Maybe you've had physical therapy. Maybe you've, had, maybe you've been to chiropractors. But what I'm trying to tell you up front is that our office is different. It's different because we use brain-based treatments. We use neurological treatments. We do neurological testing. So let's talk about chronic back pain, chronic neck pain, sciatica, failed back surgery syndrome. I, I can't tell you how many people that we've helped that have already had multiple surgeries, many of them with hardware, plates and screws in their spines. So let, let's talk about what controls all the back muscles. And that's your brain. You see, you have this thing here called the cerebellum. The cerebellum controls your balance and coordinated movement, but it also controls all of your spinal postural muscles. So if the cerebellum isn't firing, those muscles will probably spasm. And the vertebra will lock up. The only way the disc gets nutrients is, is through motion. And when it doesn't move, the disc will herniate. Have you heard of a herniated disc or a bulge disc? Have you been told that? So that's what's happening neurologically. So as a chiropractic neurologist, we not only want to address the back itself, and we'll be telling you how we do that, with some of our neurologically based treatments, but we also want to address the cerebellum and get the cerebellum working better. So how do you know the cerebellum isn't working? We do neurological testing. We have the patient stand, feet together, eyes closed, see if they sway at all or fall to one side. We'll do a finger to nose test where we have the patient close their eyes and they'll touch the tip of their pinky to the tip of their nose. If they miss up, down, side to side, we know that cerebellum isn't firing. We'll do a pass pointing test, feet shoulder width apart, head back, eyes closed, and they're going to bring one finger up to the other. My left finger up to my right, I don't move my right, and vice versa. So those are all tests for the cerebellum. We may do a, an accommodation test for, to check eye movements in the brain, where normally you follow a pen to your nose, the eyes should converge. If, if one eye comes in and the other bounces out or it doesn't come in, 
that tells me maybe that brain isn't firing on that side. We may use something called Real Eyes. Real Eyes by Micromedical. Some of the latest technology, it's an infrared camera on one eye. We'll spin the patient slowly. Spinning without a target, your eye should bounce. Spinning with a target, there should be no movement. We'll use an optokinetic tape, a red and white tape, to check the eyes. The eyes show us a lot about what's happening with the cerebellum and the brain. So we're going to do neurological testing. We're going to test vibration. That's testing the back part of the spinal cord. Do you have spinal cord impingement as a result of a bulge disc? Putting pressure on the nerve, causing back pain or neck pain, causing pressure on the nerve where it causes pain down the leg, sciatica. So we're going to test vibration, check, check the back part of the spinal cord. We're going to use a pinwheel, check the front part of the spinal cord. We're going to test muscle strength in distal extremities, in the feet and hands. And if it's weak on one side, maybe the brain on that side isn't firing. We're going to test smell sensation. If I can't smell in my left nostril, but in my right, perhaps that left brain isn't firing. So we're going to do specific neurological testing and determine how we can best help you with our brain-based therapies. What are some of the brain-based therapies that we utilize? In our office, we utilize non-surgical spinal decompression. This booklet should be in your DVD packet. It explains in detail what non-surgical spinal decompression does. I'll tell you what it does orthopedically and neurologically. Orthopedically, non-surgical spinal decompression separates the vertebra creates a negative disc pressure and allows the disc to get sucked back in. So you don't have that bulge or you don't have that herniation pressing on that nerve, causing chronic neck pain, causing chronic back pain. Maybe that pain in your neck is radiating into your arms, radicular neuropathy. Maybe it's radiating into your legs, sciatica. So that's the orthopedic part. But non-surgical spinal decompression also provides a slow stretch to the muscles. And when you have a slow stretch to the muscles, that fires receptors, which fires large diameter nerves into the spinal cord and fires up to the cerebellum. So we want to get the cerebellum working better. We may use a brain-based therapy, such as a unilateral adjustment. Maybe you've been to a chiropractor and they've adjusted you on both sides. We only want to adjust you on right side, on one side. For instance, the left brain controls the right side of the body and vice versa. The left brain, we find through our neurological testing that there's a decreased frequency of firing. What do we want to do? We only want to adjust you on the right side. Left brain, right side of the body. Does that make sense? <laughs> it does to me. We may do a caloric. A caloric fires semicircular can canals in the ear and that fires a nerve back to the cerebellum get that cerebellum firing better we may have you do the alphabet with the right arm to get the right cerebellum working better we may have you do a squeeze ball we may do eye exercises we may do auditory listening to sound or visual stim it depends on your particular case we also use something that's just incredible it's called the ATM2 the ATM2, you can go on the internet, it's, it's back www.backproject.com. So along with non-surgical spinal decompression, some of the latest technology out there, we also have another piece of equipment called the ATM2, which we specifically exercise core back muscles. Again, that website.